Hello, my name is Natalie Alanese. I'm here reporting for The Runner Online. Today is Celebrate CSUB, and there's a lot of events happening. I'm here at the Fab Lab in the engineering department. I'm going to go inside and check in to see what's going on in there. Hi, I'm inside the Fab Lab here with Matt Chalker. What is it that you do? Um, I'm the Fab Lab specialist and liaison here at CSUB. Uh, my job is to run the Fab Lab uh, here on campus. Um, so what is this that you're holding in your hand? So right in my hands, I have a prototype for a giant Roadrunner statue that we made here in the Fab Lab uh, with our students who are working on our hackathon right now. This is a 20% scale model that we laser cut out, and we made a full seven and a half foot long model on our ShopBot CNC router, which is sitting over uh, on display for the, everyone to see during Celebrate CSUB. So are you having kids come in or is it open to the public or is it just to celebrate CSUB? Right now it's open to the public for tours. Um, we have our CSUB students come in here all the time for their courses and for various projects that come on. We also have professors and staff members working in here oftentimes for uh, the, their projects. Finally, we have K-12 students come in all the time on field trips and on uh, summer camps, things of that nature to come in and use it. At some point, we'll open it up to the general public to come in here, but we're not quite there yet. What is one of the most interesting um, instruments you guys use in here? Well. We have a wide variety of machines that are all controlled by computers that make things. Uh, a couple of my favorite ones, I mean, people always get excited about the 3D printers, but I think we are really, uh, some of the cooler things that we have are our sewing machine. We have a computer-controlled sewing machine that can make whatever pattern you want. We also have a giant CNC router that can carve through all sorts of wood and plastics to make furniture. There's this fab lab in uh, Spain that even made an entire house using their uh, shop bot. Yeah, so I really love some of the less known uh, computer controlled machines here in the lab. Okay. So we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that Matt's talking about. Hi, I'm here with, what's your name? Omar Shamara. Are you a student here? I am. I'm an engineering major. And what are you planning to show me? Uh, I'm going to show you some uh, Eastern Island heads that we're 3D printing right now here in the Fab Lab. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, right now we're 3D printing some Eastern Island heads, much like these ones here. Um, and the way 3D printing works, it takes a plastic like this, it heats it up till it melts, and then it uh, adds layer by layer uh, through additive construction, creating uh, 3D models like this. Okay, so this is a laser cutter. What it does, it has a, a laser, and it just burns through materials. So we can take just normal PDF files, and then it'll cut those out in, in two-dimensional sheets. Uh, and that's good for when we need to cut things out and prototype like this this runner for instance we just cut out these sheets from from wood before we made the full-scale model that uh, you can see out in front of science one here or science two I'm sorry uh, here at celebrate CSUB so this is Natalie Ellen reporting for the runner online thank you for tuning in